attempt it on. Uh, we are recording the session. So what do you mean by that? The algorithm is changing. Are they, uh, you mean by the scoring? Because, yes, because I have a template already for the no, no, rate no. lecture and describe image. Okay. But yeah. now it seems that, mm -hmm. but they said that I don't have to say, repeat the word over and over. So if I have to say like, I can see a beautiful picture in front of me, wait for a while. Um, exactly. For a while. Exactly. Like, like, for example, in describe image, my template before was only like, the picture was mainly about and also about and also about. My template was just that. But now I changed my template into, I can see a beautiful picture in front of me. The picture was mainly about, the image was about, as we can see in the image, there is blah, blah, blah. As we can see in the picture, there is blah, blah, blah. As we can see in the drawing, there is blah, blah, blah. In conclusion, this is a very informative picture. So I changed it to like that. So it's okay? Yes, it's fine. See, uh, the word template itself means a template. It's just a form that how would you start, how would you carry it on, and how would you end it. That what templates help you. It's not that you're going haphazard. But it doesn't matter what template you say. Uh, because see, the, the words that in the template are not the answer to the question that Pearson wants from you. Pearson, they have they ask you a question and definitely they have prepared an answer key, which they have feed in the system for the AI to read and match your answer and give you marks, right or wrong. All right. Right. But I'm a little bit I'm a little bit confused. So so can I use the picture was mainly about and also yes, about because yes, it's yes. more yes, it's okay. Is, yes, let me finish. The trick is whatever is in the picture is the answer itself. Whatever is written, if they have written 2000, if you speak the word 2000, that AI understands, yes, she has said the word 2000, which was in the uh, in the picture. So I give her points. If you at least, uh, and if there is a written country, America, and you said the word America when you were giving the answer to the question, to the describe image, the, the AI is advanced, but it, it is sophisticated, but it is not advanced. So it will pick, oh, yes. Jesse said the word America, so I should give her one point. So the the, uh, the trick is that try to speak as, as much content provided in the picture, in the graph, rather than just concentrating on your template. Because everything that is inside oh. the template is not the actual answer. Okay, because I was so worried. Like today, I practice everything about the template and I get bombarded. Like my brain gets so like, I had a headache now because I don't understand. And I feel like, I feel so tired. I feel burnout. Like I feel so tired, like uh, doing some practices about the described image and in the letter, like read the lecture and also about, so is it the uh, spoken summary text is also changes because I have template already. Like my templates is, the audio was mainly about people's, like I will put noun. And okay. then the speaker stated such words as their blank and their blank. Moreover, their their noun or their noun were also discussed in the lecture. In addition to this, the discussion was about their noun and their noun. Uh, and in addition to this, the discussion was about now about, about their noun and also about their noun. Finally, the speaker concluded about finally the speaker concluded the lecture by stating about their noun. Okay, fine. But uh, it is 100% fine if you give the answer that the speaker was saying. For summarized spoken text, if you uh, give maximum information that was said by the speaker in the lecture and you are able to produce as much content as possible, same as in the lecture, then you will get marks. But if you are not able to speak back the words, enough words to the uh, AI, then it will not give you a marks. Now the trick is, uh, I I suggest to use phrases. If you're good at catching and repeating the phrases, then go for phrases rather than keywords. Okay. So but more. If, so it is. So it is like two two phrase two words is okay. Uh, three words will do. Phrases means a kind of a small sentence, but in a so phrases is three words. Three words, right? Three words. 
a kind of sentence. For instance, is basically instead of saying keywords like the speaker was talking about environment, cl cloud, weather, the speaker said that the weather will be good tomorrow because he can see it is a clear sky. So it's a simple sentence, but I repeated the same thing that the speaker said. Because it, uh... it, it is giving as much content as possible. Because if you if you give three keywords and uh, the AI was asking for, for, for almost five matching keywords, then, then, then it's an issue, right? So for summarized spoken text, it's recommended. What I did was I didn't go for keywords. I went for the sentence. Why? Because when you write a sentence, there are, there are some additional words also like helping is the and to. So uh, writing a sentence is more easier than giving back the keywords. But if you think you are so, comfortable with keywords, you will go with keywords. If you think you're comfortable with phrases, go for phrases and because you don't have time. So I would not say that you go, for, uh, go with experiments. Were you practicing keyword or phrases? I'm practicing, um, now I'm practicing three words, two to three words. Uh, uh, in one sentence or overall? Um, in overall, no, 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 not in one sentence. Like in one, let, let, let me check. In one sentence, hmm. no, because my, my template is the B, the audio was mainly about, about earth. The speaker stated such words. Uh, let me see. Wait, wait. Let me check. Let me check my yeah, words here. You should at least speak three keywords in one sentence and almost 15 keywords in the complete summarized spoken text. Then only. Can so you I would keywords. have. So I would have 15 keywords. Yes. While one. The speaking, yes. While the one. Speaking, speaking, try to take at least 15 keywords from his lecture. And try to speak at least three keywords. Because if you don't do that, you are giving very less answer to the AI. AI doesn't have your AI, your template in the answer key. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. That's fine. 14, 15, around 14, 15, 15, 15, 15, 15. 16. But good, good. I, because yeah, because I I I read a writer. The audio was mainly about people's earth, so that's one earth. The speaker stated such words as their earthquake and their crust. So earthquake and crust is three good, 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 good. in whole sentence. This is whole sentence. Hmm. Moreover, their map view and their sort their map view. So that's five five map view, and the surface of the earth map view. Uh, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So that's nine. So that's fine. Math, that's fine. That's not, we're it. also discussed in the lecture. In addition to this, the discussion was about the structure of the earth. Was about the structure of the earth. So nine, ten, eleven, twelve, twelve, and then epicenter, and also about epicenter. So that's twelve, thirteen. The speaker concluded the lecture by stating the facts about the faults and the eighth earthquake. Thirteen. 14, 15, 16, 17. I have 17 in all. Best. That, that, that is 100% right. You will get full marks. Mm, okay. So, so is it, so like, so I can use my, t so it's okay, like sometimes keywords, sometimes, po sometimes phrases. So it's okay like that. Yeah, exact. Uh, it is right. Uh, right. But only the trick is that you provide as much content as possible, which is in the question. Because the question itself is an answer. Describe image is a question, which itself is an answer. So if you provide as much content from that picture back to the AI, you will get marks. Because if you see the blue line, they have written how the word reproduce. How much was she able to reproduce the same content? Right? And also you will see uh -huh. the is written word response that how good she was at responding so the response is that the question itself is an answer so everything which is in the describe image is your answer everything that the retail lecture tells you is your answer everything that is said in the repeat uh, sentences uh, if you are able to reproduce uh, repeat the same thing that's the answer 
But what? Why I have a good score in Epiuni? I mean, sometimes I only use this, like the uh, keywords. Epiuni is a third party application, okay, and uh, uh, they don't have that good AI, so it's just ah, they don't have a good AI. Huh? Oh, I see. They don't have a good AI. AI exactly because I never was able to score uh, uh like uh more than seventy seven in speaking in air peony, but in real exam, I got 87 because their AI is not that good, right? So the thing is, uh, it's a common sense thing that everything that is in the picture, uh, that it is in the lecture, that is in the summary paragraph, if you want to write some nice spoken text, those contents are fed in the AI as an answer, as a key. So, if so this one, a summary spoken text should be 15 words. Exactly. If uh, if you uh, the, the the thing that you told Mina is perfect, continue with it. So, so this one, um, my speaking is okay. Like the read aloud is 89, 82, 83. Good. I Good. mostly Good. most of my read aloud are 80 plus. Mm -hmm. But about the repeat sentence, um, I, I usually use like the first sentence and then the last one. Is it okay? That's fine. But uh, I have seen you people scoring even 19 other parts but uh, i'm not able to score good in speaking because of the trick of using first and last word that is a good thing it's a good thing but again i said the blue line clearly mentions how much you are able to reproduce like i mean for repeat sentence repeat sentence yes that is that if the person is saying 11 words how much you are able to uh, uh, give back. Ah, able to. Oh, okay. So that is reproduced. So, the blue line, mm. of which usually I have seen many people scoring very less in the line which a strong has partnership reproduced. Has... Ah, of if how many you reproduce. Okay. Exactly. How much? So how reproduce? about um the letter, the Rita lecture? Because I'm a little bit, I'm tired now, so... I don't know what to do with my retail lecture. It, it, so it, is it okay? It, is it okay? I have if I have to say like the if is it okay if I have to say the speaker was mainly about yes. the lecture was mainly about yes, yes. the lesson was mainly about not the, the representation you can, you was can mainly words, no? the speaker said he also told he uh it was also mentioned just uh, change the common synonyms of uh dope. okay yeah so. The speaker was mainly about what's that? Wait, the speaker was mainly about no, that the that, speaker that, was mainly about that is the not, speaker was mainly about and also no, no, no. then that, the speech the speech not, was hmm, uh, that not be good. What why not you just like normally we are talking to each other, so we are just changing words, right? You can say the speaker told about he also mentioned. Uh, he also uh, uh, the speaker uh, he also like the speaker said he also told he also mentioned so you can change this way he also mentioned like i say uh, for example i said the speaker the lecture was about environment and now i know if she's a female if the person speaker is a female i say she told that okay if it is a male, I said he's told that, then you can, it's not necessary you say she and he. You can say further on, moreover, uh, environmental sciences was also mentioned in the lecture. So you didn't mention the speaker. You just keep continuing with the, the communication, the talk, the reproduction of the content. So, uh, okay, okay, wait, wait, Um, let me see. So this one I have here, like, I have here this one, okay. So can you the speak? speaker was okay. Okay, first, the speaker was mainly about digital age. The oh. speech was about social. Oh, in, oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, wait, wait. Okay, wait. Uh, uh, I have to repeat. The speaker was mainly about digital age and social interaction. Oh, no, no, no. The speaker was mainly about digital age and social media. Ah, I forgot. Sometimes so I forget that's, my keyword. That's the problem with the template. That's why I ask people, please don't get crazy about templates. Just try to be natural. Just try to say as much content the speaker said in a proper way. That's it. No. So better. in retail, so in retail lecture, it's okay that I don't have a template, right? It's fine. I should have to write the 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 how to say this one. 
the content. For example, oh, this one, I will write the the no, piece. The speaker, retail, Rachel, the speaker was mainly about speak. Huh. The speaker, the speaker was mainly about digital age and grammar. social media. This is a wrong grammar. The speaker was mainly about. The speaker mainly talked about. The lecture was mainly about. That's a wrong grammar. The speaker is mainly uh, about is a wrong grammar. But they said, but is but they said they said that it's okay to have a wrong grammar in written lecture. Uh, but why to uh, give something to AI to cut your mark? Uh, why ah. you speaking? Why they why to give a chance? Because you no, know, yeah, English is all about grammar. You know, when you write an essay, if you uh, write two wrong words, they cut uh, two marks for grammar, two marks for vocabulary, and two marks for uh, spelling. Right? If you write so the lecture was mainly so this one the lecture was mainly about digital age and social media. Exactly. The speaker says that it is exactly. about public opinion and platforms. Exactly. It also talks about Facebook and well, town squares. Hmm. It also mentioned about information and dissemination. Moreover, it is global events. Additionally, it is empower individuals and also about content. As we can see in the image, and uh, no, no, no. As we can see, <laughs> that's it. That's it. Right. That's the problem with the terminal. We, can... we just forget everything. That is... <laughs> okay, so... wait, wait. <laughs> so I forgot. The lecture was mainly about okay. The lecture was mainly about digital age just, and just social for media. For a second, keep your template aside and just normally talk, tell say you, whatever you are saying. Just say it normally to me. Okay. Ah, okay. The lecture was mainly about digital age and social media. As we can see, it it also talks about public opinion and platforms. The lecture was about face. Uh, I cannot stop because it says that you don't have to stop for three seconds. No, you, okay. you have to take natural poses. You have this is must. You have to take natural poses. So you okay. can the you, can, you can stop because you have to breathe. You have to breathe okay. and you have to think what I will I say next. So for one second you can stop. It's natural. Okay. The lecture was mainly about digital age and social media. It also talks about public opinion and platforms. As we can see, it it also tackles about Facebook and town squares. He also mentioned about information and dissemination, and it also talks about global events and empower individuals. Moreover, it was about the content and also about fact and fiction. Additionally, it is about power, and furthermore, it is movement and issues. In conclusion, this is a very informative lecture. Thank you so much. That's so it's perfect. okay. Perfect. Oh, so I have to speak naturally. Exactly. So I don't have to say like, so I so my keywords here is only lecture, exactly. lecture, mentioned, exactly. talks exactly. about. Lecture, or you can say report. You can also use the word synonym report. Report. Exactly. Lesson. Just. Moreover, report. additionally, yes. furthermore. Exactly. Just say where you are comfortable because template is not the answer. The way you speak is the answer. The way you pronounce without any fumble, without any long pauses. You can take natural pause. Who it's who advise you not to stop? They, uh, why they advise you not to stop? Because they want you to speak at least more than 30 seconds. Then you will be able to score good. If you just end your content within 20 seconds, then you won't be able to uh, uh, get good marks because you didn't provide enough content. So only the trick is to be natural with natural pauses, not long pauses, without any fumble, without any pronunciation issue. That's it. That's what they want from you. That whatever was said in the lecture, you are, about, you are able to reproduce it naturally with natural pauses, with natural fluency, with natural pronunciation without going all over the places. Mm, I see. So, wait, I have to check here what are so repeat sentence, read aloud, repeat sentence. So, repeat sentence first and last, it's okay. So, describe uh, image. So, my describe sentence. image is my describe image is like this mm -hmm. I can see a beautiful picture in front of me. The picture was mainly about, uh, let me check. So I have here like the actual uh here. You can even share the screen with me if you have uh, uh the screen uh, not your face. Uh, okay. 
face, but the content uh, you want to show me. Okay, wait. Um, where is the? I have to. Yeah, they switch the camera like this one. Yeah. Good. Okay. So. Mm -hmm. Okay, this one. So. Um. Okay, this. Um. I can see a beautiful picture in front of me. The picture was mainly about adult literacy by region and mm -hmm. also about literacy rates by sex 2004 to 2000. Oh, wait, wait, wait. 2000 wait, to 2004, yeah. yeah. Okay, okay, wait, wait. I Because I fine. I it's cannot fine. see it clearly. Okay, it okay, wait for a while. Fine. Because AI okay. even is not so advanced. At least you said the keyword 2004 and 2000, okay? Ah, so it's okay, 2000, 2000, uh, 2004. Exactly. It's ah, okay. Fine. But just okay. not fumble. No fumble. Okay, okay. Uh, one, two, three. Okay, ready, start, go. Mm -hmm. I can see a beautiful picture in front of me. The picture was mainly about adult literacy by region and also literacy rates by sex and 2004 to 2000. As we can see in the picture, there is 77 and 78. As we can see in the picture, there is 77 and 55. No, As wrong, we can wrong, see wrong, in the wrong. image, or wrong, wrong, or wrong, wrong, or wrong. Ah, oh, the trick bad. is the trick is just read the answer given to this question, and then I will tell. Then I will ask you what you get from it. Is there an answer given below? There is an answer given what? below. Are you now this one? Yeah. Read but it. I didn't follow this one. Just read it. Just follow me. Read it. This one, the following graph. Just forget your template. Just read the answer given. Yes, the answer. Read the read the line. Ah, read this it. one. This one. This one. Yes. You mean this one? Exactly. Okay, okay. Read it. I can see. I can see a beautiful picture in front of me. The picture was mainly about adult literacy by region, and also literacy rates by sex and two thousand to two thousand four. As we can see in the image, there is 77, 87, 53, and 70. No, no, As we no, can see in the... No, I'm saying uh, the answer that is given below. I can see the line. Uh, where, what do you mean? This one? Yes, this paragraph. Read this paragraph. The following, gra the following graph gives information about literacy by region, by region 2000 to 2004. As we can see, the largest amount can be found in Latin America and Caribbean which is 89% in females and 91% in males. Following that, Asia has the second largest rate, which is 73% in females and 86% in males. However, we can find the smallest amount of sub-Saharan Africa, which is 53% in females and 70% in males. In conclusion, males have larger adult literacy rate rather than females in all regions. So what did you get from it? Can you tell me what you learned? So this one, world, sub-Saharan, Latin America, Asia, and now, Arab states. Now I tell you what they did is. Number one, keep this in mind. When you are saying something in the graph, please do mention the word largest or the maximum, the smallest or minimum. Oh, I'm not, I'm not yet finished. I'm not yet finished. Yeah. Like okay, I still okay, have to okay, okay, tell okay. the highest. Listen, listen to me first. Why? Okay. Because the way you are reading it, you're not giving a sequence to your answer. You're just saying, I'm, I can see 87, 77. No. See how they have given. They have said that this is, this is, is much. So they are saying the word and the number together simultaneously. Read the line again, which has the number. Read this line following the graph. Read this line. Yes. See how they have said it. They said the seventy-seven percent also, and they also mentioned the term the uh, that is coming along with it. Read this line complete. Read it completely following. Ah, okay. So I don't have to. So I just have to say like the picture. You don't have to. So say the number separately and the word separately. You join together and say it in a one sentence. Like, for example, you say uh, that, just hold on a second, there is someone on the door. I want you to read the paragraph again. Okay. I can see a beautiful picture in front of me. The picture was mainly about adult literacy by region 
and also literacy rates by sex 2000 to 2004. As we can see in the image, there is 91%, the highest value. As we can also see in the picture, there is 53%, the lowest value. And also we can see in the picture that there is world, Sub-Saharan and Latin America, Asia and Arab states. In conclusion, this is a very informative picture. I think that's enough. Thank you so much. Is this better? Hello? Hello, are you, are you still there? Hello? Sorry, yes, I said there was someone on the door. See, no, again, you are not saying it right. When you speak, you say the terms and the numbers together. Tell me the number of this question. It is uh, 25, right? Now, wait on us. Hold on a second. See how I read it. Can you come down and read the line which is written following? It's written following. Uh, what do you mean? Uh, okay, hold on a sec. Just hold on a sec. It's number 25, adult literacy. Okay, it should be read like this, that when I read it, I basically say the term and the percentage together. First, I should tell you how uh, you are reading it and then I tell you how you're supposed to read it. Like, just hold on a second. One minute, one minute. Just hold on a second. In later lecture, so. Yeah, 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 just wait. That mention talks about report less on, moreover, additionally, furthermore. No, no, just hold on. <clears throat> okay. Can you see the screen? Yeah, I can see the screen. Okay. How you are reading it, you are saying there is 77 and 87, there is 53 and 70, there is 89 and 91. This is 73 and 85, there is 55 and 77. There is world, there is sub-Saharan. This is the way how you are saying it, right? Yes. 
No, this is not the way. You don't read the numbers, all numbers separately and all words separately. No, you have to read them in a combined form. How we do it? Now listen to me. How, what is my way to say it? Here is a beautiful picture in front of me. It is about adult literacy by region. Literacy rates by sex 2000 and 2004. I can see the highest value for the world is 87 and the smallest is 77. For sub-Saharan Africa, the maximum value is 70 and the minimum value is 53. For the Latin American and the Caribbean, Lamana. for the male, the value is uh, in, in 91 and the for, for the female, the value is 89. In Asia, 86 is the value, 86 is the value for the females and 73 is for male. Same as case in Arabian states, 77 is for the males and 55 is for the females. So see how I read it. Ah, uh, okay, I okay, I get it. Word and the number together. I said sub-Saharan Africa and the numbers together in a one sentence. How how I learned this trick is in conclusion. It is so if you look at this line, uh, see as we can see the largest amount. Oh, so, Latin, Latin America barbecue. and Caribbean, which is eighty nine percent in females and ninety one percent in males. So if you look at the second line, read the second line as we can see. Read this line where I put my uh, cursor. As we can see, the largest amount can be found in Latin America and the Caribbean, which is 89% in females and 91% in males. You got an idea. This is the way what I was reading. I said the words and the numbers together rather than saying it separately. Ah, so you have to you so you uttered the words like combine the words and then also with the numbers. That's okay, very good. Okay. Secondly, the trick is that you mentioned the words largest or maximum, minimum, or uh, smallest, because this is very important for describing it. When there is a graph, you usually show what thing is high and what thing is low. That's the basic concept about any graph you, if you want to explain to someone, layman, a common person, right? So you need to mention, this is very important for describe that you do mention the words largest, smallest, or even you can say maximum, minimum, because it is very important. If you say these three words, conclusion, largest, and minimum, uh, and conclusion, largest, and uh, smallest, it gives you points. And secondly, it gives an eye of time to complete it on in, on time. in time. If you say it separately, then you're not able to. Oh, and, to get the and one more thing is that what I did was, you didn't see any, did you found any template in the answer what I was saying? Did you, were you able to figure it out in a template? Okay, okay. So, so was, like this was, one, was there so I have to read like this? Yes. Uh, is it okay? Uh, like this? Wait, uh, I don't have the... Because the trick is, the trick is that you read as much content in the picture as possible. You see, I read everything that was uh, mentioned in the picture, male, female, Asia, numbers, words, everything. Okay, okay. So like this one, I have to read like this. You you can, yeah. So now uh, where's some the... other question. So do some other question. Uh, other mm -hmm. questions. Yeah, open any other question. Tell me the number. This one. Number. Uh, okay. Uh, number. No, this is in the written there. Number forty-seven. Number forty-seven. Okay, hold on a second. Forty-seven. Good. Now, okay, start. Okay. So, I can see a beautiful picture in front of me. The picture was mainly about population. As we can see in the picture, it also talks about bears, dolphins, and whales. As we can see in the picture, the highest number of bears is 181. The lowest value is 5. As we can see in the dolphins, the highest value is 142. The lowest value is 5. As we can see in the whales, the highest value is 100 and the lowest value is 60. In conclusion, this is a very informative picture. I think that's enough. Thank you so much. Okay. But... Uh... This was fine, but not perfect. Why? Because you forget something. 
what january february march april may june ah uh, so i got i forgot the january february march what's the answer is the trick is you try to mention as much content provided in the picture as possible so the highest value you are right about bears is 180 but it was in the month of june because it's an orange line so orange with orange they have mentioned the word june isn't it so Ah, okay, okay. And for the lowest, you were right, it is about five, but it is a blue line. So I think it was for the month of uh, January because it was the first month. January, February, March, April, May, June. This is the how they are going. January, February, March, April, May, June, right? So for dolphins also, the highest value you said, it's around 140. But it, what was the month? The month, the month was April. And the lowest value was for which month? It was for the month of May. So now if you read the answer, read the answer that is given. The following graph gives information about the population from January to June in bears, dolphins, and whales. See, they have mentioned the months, okay? Jan to June. When we look at the population of bears, it has increased sharply from 10 in January to 180 in June. So they gave the minimum value in the month of uh, January and the highest value is in the month of June, okay? Uh, in contrast, in terms of dolphins, the population declined uh, dramatically from 150 to 10. That because 150 was the highest value and uh, uh, and 10 is the lowest value the, uh, in the month of Jan and June. When it comes to whales, the number remained relatively stable as around 90 with the same fluctuations. So that they, they were uh, like almost near 90. No? Uh, the highest value was uh, in the same period. So in conclusion, so... The main thing is you forgot to say the words month also. Month is very important because the bars in mm. colors is basically representing months. So the trick is to speak as much content provided in the picture. If you just go after a template, you are unable to speak the information given in the picture or reproducing the same content that is given in the picture if you just concentrate on your template or IC, IC, IC then you will not be able to score because AI has the answer fed that is in the picture rather than your template. Mm, okay. Okay, so another one. Try another question. Give me the number. So first, 216. Okay. 216. Good. So just try to look at the picture for a second and try to observe with your eyes that 200, 216. Two oh two hundred sixteen two one six. Okay. Now let's this time try to say as much contents in the picture without dropping in. Now look, this is a very complicated picture, right? So just concentrate. Uh, no, not that one. Not that one. Two one six. Two two hundred sixteen. This is two hundred sixteen. No, oh no, wait. This is, it's different here. Wait. Show me your. Screen. I know it's letter, it's a lecture. No, no, no. I'm sorry. I'm, I, uh -huh. I'm wrong. I'm wrong. I'm sorry. Uh, let me check again. Just give me a number. Speaking, speaking. Wait, I will check here. So, how much you were scoring first when uh, doing describe image? How, what was your score? I have 70. <laughs> Seven zero, but for me, seven zero is okay for me because I only have fifty five. I only my overall score is only fifty five, and every category is only fifty. So I don't need much okay. score. Uh -huh. but after ending the uh, session, try to follow the thing that I told you and see how much 